My Little Pony's demonic. My little, what else is demonic? <laughs> what does that mean, Abby? Though? What's it mean when something's demonic? Oh man, that was genius. She just said, say it again. She, I didn't think she remembered that. He's a demigod? Yeah. And that's demonic? Yeah. In the show Moana? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they the are. The songs are so good. Yeah, that's that's the ploy of the enemy right there. <laughs> Make those songs so good, you just, just keep singing them all the way to hell. <laughs> Okay guys, so Fridays are a fun day for us where as a family, we go all the way out to Long Island, New York, and we do uh, appointments all day where we meet and counsel people and disciple them and tag team and have fun and do mommy play dates. Julie said it's one right now. And the conversation at our home is what is demonic? And if you were raised in a Christian household, this is probably a very familiar conversation, especially like what do you, whatever you'd call it, conservative evangelicalism, what is demonic. And I'll be honest with you, man, I'm a pastor, and as I get older, I can really see that these shows do have these values embedded in them. And sometimes you do think to yourself, man, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I wish I had a better choice, you know? So we were just asking Everly some questions about you know what shows were demonic she says Tumonic because she's three years old and she said Moana because he's a demigod <laughs> hey listen they're picking it up they're picking up on much more than you think they are and then what was the other one she said my, my little pony little <laughs> what's what's demonic so, about my little pony they're like giving curses out of a book I'm like no we're not doing that like she can play with the toy because she doesn't know any of the storylines or whatever. I don't care about that. I'm not like that religious, but like to watch the show and there's like these dark horses that come out and they're all, I'm like, nah, we're good. Here's, here's my thing. We live in New York City. You can't there's tell me out of, of all of these talented people <laughs> and how commercially available all this software is that there can't be shows and movies and stories that are better, that are that have Christian values in them. Like, why is the Christian community so behind in this? Is there somebody out there that is just working on something right now? I mean, the Bible's got a lot of really juicy content. Like, yeah, but it doesn't make a good children's story to have I mean, David so cutting Goliath's head off with no, his own sword, so or uh, Noah getting drunk on the ark. You know or, what I'm saying? Yeah, that Moses would make a great adult. Circumcised as an adult. That would make a great adult coloring book, though. <laughs> Maybe we should make an adult coloring book for this stuff. Or it was a kid, the kid. So anyways. The kid, the child, sorry. What are you doing, Belle? Going to the mommy play day. I get to play with a bunch of babies. Yay! I invited kids your age. Everly, what are you doing right now? Don't. What's your favorite part about being in the play date? Um, mom snacks. While Julie and the kids are at their B1 meetup, the play date, I'm gonna go hang out with Evan and just, uh, we did, I go to Starbucks. I go to Starbucks, AKA my other office, and we're gonna do a little bit of uh, a mentoring kind of situation with him. And, uh, you know, like mentoring leadership kind of thing. I got some meetings with Anthony D. John Tommaso. I got some meetings with Anthony Kenneth, for those of you who know him. And we're gonna do this up, man. We make Fridays count. So we're here at Starbucks. We're doing a little creative team meeting with my man, Alex. You guys remember him from that last episode? What are we working on? Uh, we are working on some awesome uh, video content for this month at B1 Church. Uh, getting some footage from this guy. Uh, this looks so creepy. You're so close. You're invading my space. You're invading my space, man. I don't like this. I don't like that you're invading my space today. It's so wide that I gotta... I know. That's why I hate it. 
<laughs> well, tell me, tell me about the videos, though. Oh, it's great. We had um, had a few people just telling their story about how they came to Christ, and uh, they came out great. So we're gonna be working on them, editing them, releasing them. Uh, so be on the lookout. It's gonna be great. Stop invading my space. <laughs> just talk to Evan. <laughs> this. Oh, hang on. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, what up? Let me change this. We're here uh, live on Facebook right now. Let me show the vlog, actually. You guys see that? So we're live on Facebook. We're on the vlog. We're going to be talking. Okay, so we do a meetup called Let's Talk Platform, and it's all about how to grow and develop as a platform speaker. And I've got a guest with me, Young What's Blood, up? Evan Wilson. How's it going, The guys? most dynamic young speaker in the nation. Who do we got? Oh man, I don't know when, when I got that. I got We're going to talk today about how to go from good to great. And uh, I want to just say this. I've got Evan with me, with me right now because he's actually been one of the people working with me behind the scenes to go from good to great. Hey, oh, hey. hey what's can I be your vlog? Yeah, you can be in the vlog and on Facebook Special Live. Special guest. <laughs> you got to like, yeah, you got to scooch in. Okay. What's your name? I'm Mia. Mia? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about like platform, how to grow your platform. We oh, have Mia. Great. She's an expert on yeah, how to I'm grow platforms. She's actually growing her platform right now by just like, like hijacking our Facebook Live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you about to get pushed out of your own vlog. You're gonna have this to help great. me do this. I can I feel like okay, we've got somebody else on. We're in a <laughs> private like Facebook group about how to grow your platform and be a better communicator and a better speaker. The thing that we were talking about today though is about how like the details take you to the next level in your communication. Yeah, and, and not being like afraid to like vlog. Like I saw you guys doing it, I was like, that's so cool. Like, oh, see? Yeah. Yeah, so like not being afraid to vlog, not being afraid to like just do things that other people maybe are too scared to do. Yeah. Um, Bobby Hampton, who's watching right now, we were in uh, Ukraine and I basically volunteered him to go talk in front of a whole bunch of Ukrainians and he was afraid to do it, but he, he just did it anyways and like everyone was rocked by his story about being set free from alcoholism and like what you know what happened in his life so that was cool too our creative team night every Fridays is also load and load out so just uh, hang out with me for a little bit while I drive this boss house big on thing here this box truck oh. you know what we've got that's kind of cool <laughs> Oh, the V1 stencil. Thinking maybe we go graffiti something. Let's see if this thing starts up on the first try. You ready? Oh, oh. How many days are we working out? Like, 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 Please explain to me what's happening. <laughs> I am bringing Starbucks to you guys. <laughs> it's a little tree. This is creative team night, and I just walked in and she's randomly making, well, I don't even know what this is. She brought this all on her own. Ice coffees. <laughs> why, like, explain why. Because you, I'm serving you guys, because yeah. you guys serve Sunday mornings. Aww. This is ministry. This I'm, is ministry. Did you ask Raina if she wants week. some? If you've had a long week, here's a tree. Wow. Wow. Oh, guys, coffee. <laughs> How do you get this right there, Here you go. Hey, what's up? <laughs> you should try to see how many people will let you do that. Yeah, okay. No, no, here's Raina. <laughs> she lets you. Raina, you're awesome. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Tia, you trying to get some? Cream? Yeah. Tia wants a whip. Oh my. <laughs> you can count on Mallory to bring the fun. <laughs> 